Welcome to Talking with Voyager, new format on my YouTube channel where I talk to you uh, about tutorials, tips for After Effects and in general editing stuff. And you, qu you can also ask of course in the comment section uh, or on Instagram if you follow me there. Uh, anything and I will help you in this video. Today we are actually talking about Twixter, alright? So let's begin. So as you can see, we have three clips. Uh, each of them is the same, of course. We will do a Twix store on each of them with three different ways I personally use. So you need to have, of course, the Twix store Pro plugin. And I will simply drag from FX here the effect on the clip. So for the first method, I will use the raw to Twix store as they usually yeah, mention it because I feel it's more easy and fast. So in the effect controls tab here, you can see input fields and you will need to put this on upper field first. And then in, in FPS is out FPS, you will need to like toggle this tick. And then uh, in input frame rate, I will suggest you to put a value between four and eight. I usually use four because I feel it's more smooth and it's not like ruining too much the clip, you know, the clip quality. And then motion vector leave to best, but image prep put um, contrast edge enhance, main background layer settings put 100, so the max setting, frame interpolation put motion weighted blend, and then this is on your choice, I mean, Warping, you can do inverse or forward, as you can see. I usually do uh, inverse because it's more smooth. But if I find one clip maybe too much warping, I, I put forward because it's putting more of a ghosting effect than actually warping the actual clip. So, and after all of these things, you will need to animate the speed. Okay, so create the keyframe here, enter the effect keyframes here by pressing U. The first value of course will need to be 100. Then put a value between 200 and 300. I will put 200 here, I guess it's fine. And then at the end or near the end put like 25, okay? So right now it seems a little bit weird and also it's like fading out but you can see it will fix as you want. So first of all, select all the keyframes and press F9 on the keyboard or else do right click and then keyframe assistant easy is. And then uh, select the, these keyframes and enter the graph editor. So from here, you will need to select these graphs and I suggest you to do something like I will do. First one, we need to go like this. The second one, like this and then keep following me so you will need to create something like this of course can change based on the clip of course and on your preferences here is the effect let me fix the timeline okay to do the loop okay and there it is so as you can see in the first frames there is a little bit of warp and we can fix this, yeah, by changing the graph a bit or else even the thing I mentioned before of warping. If you put this on forward, it is a little bit different, okay? And maybe less noticeable the, the problem here, okay? But of course, you can also change a bit the graph thing I will do right now. So now that the whole Twix store is more fast, you can see a little bit less these problems here of warping. Now that you have maybe understood this one, we will see the next one. So here, as you can see, there is again an empty clip, so without FX. I only pre-composed these ones, of course. Uh, we need to cut the frames, right? So if you keep pressing Ctrl and then uh, moving with the arrows on your keyboard, you can see the various keyframes on the clip. What you need to actually do is keep moving 
forward until you see a new frame. So a new frame that is not the same as the previous ones. So split and again split, now split, split again, split. Okay, we are done, almost. Okay. So now you will need to select all of these by doing shift until the last one or like control and selecting each one each of them uh, press alt on your keyboard and from the last part of the layer drag uh, with the left click onto the left until each of them are like this so like there is some space Keep doing as i said so yeah sequence layers and then okay and now all the frames will be at attached to each other pre-compose all of this by clicking right click and pre-compose here make sure um, it's on move all attributes into new component composition and also adjust composition duration blah blah now you will need to drag twixtor pro right now on the clip in is out fps ticked so yeah so input fields leave to none but image prep again contrast edge announce here on frame interpolation motion weighted blend and then warping um, yeah usually there it's always warp forward for this one and of course main bg layer again uh, 100 you will need to pre-compose again and then if the clip is, is too short for you uh, you will need to drag this last keyframe a little bit forward something like this cut the clip only one frame before the last keyframe f9 so again easy is them select them graph editor and i suggest you some graph something like this yeah then sorry wait a second okay and now let's see okay yeah this can happen also now to fix this you only need to fix the graph here nothing too special to be honest so it will show at the end something like this all right after this of course you will need to pre-compose again for the last time so I forget to mention to pre-compose also this one because if you need to put of course other effects it will maybe bug so yeah pre-compose before putting other effects there is the last method I actually use uh, when you have a clip maybe with too much problems so what I mean I actually mean that the clip maybe has too much mm, frames that Twixter can't handle like alone you will need to actually interpolate this clip you will need to do the same thing so cutting the dead frames I compose again like before so you will need yeah, I know the name is really weird, but I actually use this, so yeah. Uh, it is uvu <laughs> to hex. So basically, um, you can do a lot of, th of things from this, okay? But I usually only use interpolation method. Before everything, you will need to install this. I will leave a link on the description. Make sure you install um, 5.2 because uh, the latest ones are for more updated After Effects versions, so like 2024, 2023. Anyways, so after setting it up, you will need only to check uh, the interpolate box, not upscale, and then I suggest you to do eight X times, okay? So eight times <laughs> only clicking Ubu. So yeah, let's wait. Now that the process has finished, maybe this can be variable by your pc specs so now what you need to do is only pre-compose like this you will need to keep pressing alt drag the composition now you will need only to put twixtor in fps is out fps contrast edge enhance motion rate blend forward 100 here and then yeah pre-compose again you will need only now to do Ctrl Alt T F9 to easy ease. So you will need to do again some graphs like this. And usually, okay, it's the smoothest thing you can create. You can also use Flow Frames uh, program. Maybe I will explain that in another video if you are willing to know this. So the first one is the one we actually used for Roto Twixter, if you name 
if you want to name it like that. Here is the final result. All right, all right. We have the Twixter basic method. Okay. And the latest one is the one using that kind of flow frames uh, plugin for After Effects. As you can see there are two layers, that's because the first one was for setting it and only cutting the frames. This is the result I find better, to be honest, and also probably you will think the same as me. I hope you find it helpful. If you have any questions of anything, troubles with remakes, or maybe you have trouble for another plugin setting, yeah, you can ask everything and I will try to respond with another video like this. Follow me on every social media, okay? So mainly YouTube here, but also Instagram and we will see in the next one. Bye.